Hi, welcome to product tutorial by Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri, presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can use this DC digital temperature control W3001 from DIY More. I'm going to show you how you can use it as a cooler control and also going to show you how this can be used as a heater control. Let's get started with this. This video is how to use the W3002 DC version, uh, which is 12 or 24 volts, but I have also a separate video showing you how to use the 120 or 220 volts version. The link for that video is below this video in the description. And this can be immersed directly inside the liquid or just on air. Now these uh, switches have uh, functions, if I press this, it shows the starting temperature and if I press this it shows the stopping temperature so we have two temperatures start and stop and if you want to change the starting temperature or stopping bring it on the screen and then hold this as you can see you can increase or decrease it or change it and if you hold this it will go much faster let's see what is the maximum it goes to 120 degrees and let me hold this and see what is the minimum So minus 55, that's the minimum. If you wait for a few seconds, it returns back to the room temperature. Now, that was a start. If you want to change the stop, press this, that's a stop. And then you can hold this. And that is where the stop temperature can be adjusted. A few seconds, the screen will return back. And now you can check the start is 11.6 and the stop is 42.1. The DC doesn't have that AC portion of the module that you see here. Everything else is exactly the same, uh, but because we are supplying 12 volts, that module was providing 12 volts for this device. Now the 12 volts enters here. As you can see, this is the red is the positive. This is the negative. And the negative as before is connected to the black. So this negative out. And this is the positive out from this positive it goes to the relay and exits back this way so whatever power you connect in here will be exited so your 12 volts goes here and turns on and off using this relay and this is the NTC temperature sensor the length of this is 60 millimeter 60.1 millimeter and the width is 44.5 millimeters. The depth is 30.8 millimeters. The exact distance of screw holes are 74.1 millimeters. Let me explain the wiring. Because this is a DC version, you might get uh, 12 volts or 24 volts, doesn't matter. In any case, you will connect your power supply to these two wires. The red is the positive, the black is the negative. And this is my power supply. I'm going to connect the negative in here and connect the positive in here. And as you can see, the power is up. And now the power is outputted from here. So we got 12 volts here. This is the positive and that is the negative. We're using this ball from core. So it, it is 12 volts and uh, you can use your heater, pump, motor, whatever you want to control with temperature, you will connect it. For this demonstration, this light is enough. Because the output is off, the light is also off.
Now let me show you how we can, can use it as a heater or heat control. So we have to set our start temperature, for example, if we wanted to keep it between 50 to 65, it means that when the temperature is below 50, it will turn on the heater because if you want to keep it hot, it will heat up and it will not allow it, it will stop at 65, for example, in our case, and the heater will stop. And then the temperature will decre decrease slowly when it reaches 50, again it will turn on. So now let me change, set the start to 50, press this, it is 30, press this and then hold it again, it will blink. After that you can increase it or maybe hold it so it can go faster. Very fast. So the start is now set to 50. Now I'm going to set the stop by pressing this button and then holding it again. It will stop blinking, start blinking, and then I can increase it to 65. And as you can see, the output is now on because the uh, room temperature is below 50. Now I'll, I'll be using my heat gun. This is a Mastercraft heat gun from Canadian Tire. So I will apply heat. Pay attention here when the temperature increases and reaches at 65, it will stop. So it has stopped now and because the temperature is way above that at 65 it stopped so this will turn on again at 50 not at 65 when it goes down at 50 you will see now it reaches very quickly to 50 and it will turn on so this was how to use it as a heater Now I'm going to show you how we can use it as a cooler. Uh, when you want it as a cooler, you want to keep the temperature below the value, the maximum that you have, and the cooling system will stop working at, for example, 50. I'm going to set the stop at 50 and start at 65. Uh, if you pay attention, I've changed the places of the value. This 50 was the start for the heater and stop for the uh, stop in here now we have replaced it so for cooler let me change the start to 65 press this you see 50 hold it for a few seconds blinks and now increase it let's go 65 so now it is 65 and then stop is 50 wait for this to and then press this that's and then you can hold it and it brings now you can decrease it to 50 now it is set to 50 wait for a few seconds now that's a room temperature and if i press this you will see start is 65 and stop is 50 as it is shown here now because we want to keep it cool because it is below 50 the uh, cooler is not on it will not turn on until the temperature reaches 65 i will apply heat here when it reaches 65 the cooler will start working and will cool down the device until it reaches 50 and after that i say okay no longer need it stop because it is below the uh, threshold so i'm applying now heat with my heat gun So at 65, it started it, it way above the limit, still the, the cooler is now working. It's very hot. So I can hold it with my finger, speed it up. It's being reduced faster. 
now at 50 it will stop and this is how you can use this as a cooler Thank you for watching. This was how to use this W3001 DC temperature control as a cooler or heater. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below and make sure to subscribe. I will reply to all subscribers' questions. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, you may subscribe now. Hi, welcome to a product review. Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn. Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use the W3002 temperature.